Okay, switch me to sides. Sides. Wonders who it could have been. Alright, yo guys, what's up? It's CJ also over bringing this video. And now today's video, I'm bringing you my 6K Q&A. Thank you guys so much for 6K. It means the world to me, Jonathan. <laughs> my girlfriend's in the background being annoying as usual. Can I have this? Yes. <laughs> anyway, so thank you guys so much for 6K. If I'm quiet, it's just because, uh, I don't know, bo both my doors are open. And uh, it's kind of, you can hear me, so I'm just going to kind of be quiet. But thank you guys so much for 6K. It means the world to me, and I love you all. So first comment comes from my boy Cameron, or UndeadFan13, which your favorite childhood memory, and I, I replied to him when you weren't in my life. No, but I don't, it's kind of depressing, but I can't really think of a favorite childhood memory right now. Maybe when I got my GameCube, maybe when I was playing with my brothers outside, don't remember to be honest. I don't remember a lot of my childhood. Mystify asks, Batman or Superman? He said Batman. Mystify asked me, Batman or Superman? Uh, to be honest with you guys, I don't like either of those superheroes I like Spider-Man personally I'm a Spider-Man type of guy Jordan shut your mouth All right. <laughs> Jordan what's your favorite superhero the Hulk <laughs> oh okay a little bit of disclaimer for this question this is a joke I hope everyone realizes that no one should be mad at me for this Weeking asked when Albert asked you to be overall leader of Rise why didn't you give leadership of underclass to someone else instead of ending it when you joined this is obviously a joke I'm not overall leader of Rise I was never in underclass so just yeah just there you go, there's your question weeking. Got a question from my boy, I don't know him actually, Connor Maddox. Yeah, he said, serious question, do you think Skate 4 is going to happen? Personally, as much as I want it to happen, I don't think it's going to happen. And then he has a joke question, do you think Cypress is trash at editing? Cypress is actually pretty good at editing, so I'm just, just saying. I know it was a joke, but... I got, I got a question from Limbo Gaming 93 If you were stuck on an island with no one else and you could take three things and three things only, what would they be? Not my girlfriend. Um, uh, that wasn't that funny. Oh man, three things. Three things I could take. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know why I'd ever be stuck on an island. I rarely go outside uh, enough to be on an island, so. I'm not gonna answer that if I had three then things. You are. Answer it. Real answer. Food, drink, Xbox with Wi Fi. That's <laughs> I hope that shows up on video. I, I just got shot in the face with spit. Oh my god, that was disgusting. Jordan Rocco asks Do you attend college? Do you have a job other than YouTube? I do not think YouTube's a job. Do you play any other sports? And do you actually skate? More questions, actually. Never mind, no it's not. Uh, he asked me a shout out Snapchat. His Snapchat is W-T-H-R-O-C-C-O. -C -C I'm not going to put it on screen or anything, but if you guys want to go back and listen to that, maybe go add him on Snapchat, that'd be cool. Uh, so let's get right into this. Do I attend college? No, I'm a junior in high school. Uh, I know there's some other questions asking what grade I'm in. I'll probably answer those, but there you go. I'm a junior in high school. <coughs> Do I have any other job than YouTube? Uh, my opinion of like a job is like real work. And I don't really think YouTube as a real job is like, I, mean, I work hard, but it's not really a job for me. It's more of like a hobby. And then do I play any sports? Uh, I used to play basketball, not really so much anymore. And yes, I actually skate in real life, but not a lot recently because it's been winter. And plus, I'm just kind of lazy, you know. But I go to the skate park every now and then. I can't really do much. I'm more of like a, a vert skater, if that makes sense to you guys. I'm putting this in the video. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Back to the Q&A. You can't say that they didn't even know you were gone. I'm gonna tell them or they know now. Anyways, my dad came in the room. Back to QA. It's just Prodigy LOL. Asked me who is my favorite trickliner? My guess is Rush R, because that's my my favorite trickliner is probably Skater because that's where I got my style from, if you guys can't tell. Next question comes from Spring Boy Beats. For QA, will you ever do an open lobbies on skate three live or video? I don't know how to tell people I'm doing an open lobby. I really don't know how to tell people how or when I'm gonna do open lobbies because not a lot of my skate 3 viewers follow me on Twitter so if you guys wanna go follow me on Twitter that is at underscore storable it will also be in the description along with my snapchat my instagram so maybe someday I can do it like that but um maybe I might do it I do videos with other people like live but they're typically not my friends or fans <clears throat> you have a dish soap in your mouth I told my brother I hated him one time and I got down to shit in my mouth. 
I, I, this is like one of my better friends. I don't even know how to say his name. Ferrara K. I'm pretty sure his name's Austin. Uh, what's your opinion on chicken fried rice? Um, 10 out of 10 IGN, for sure. I love you too. <laughs> Next question comes from Cash Tools. He says, Should I make a comeback to season 3? Ha, psych, for real though. <clears throat> my question is, why TF do you think I'm 5? Because you're legit like 11 and you post your stuff on your Snapchat and I think you're 5. Next question comes from Presto the Great. This is for the Q&A. What did you do when you joined Rise Skating? When I joined Rise Skating, I was at my friend's house. It was for the 30k recruitment challenge. Me and Joy got in along with Orbit, I think his name was. Uh, he changed it to like, I'm Deceived. His name was I'm, I'm Deceived, if you guys know who that is. Uh, pretty much what I did is I called... Francis called me, or Joy called me. Uh, said I got in. I was like pretty happy. I'm gonna go tell my friend Dalton. And then I heard that he got in. He, he screamed like a girl, no joke. So pretty much I was pretty happy. I started uploading more on my YouTube, and I just joined Rise, and I hit 100 subs like a few days after that, which was really awesome. Angel Martinez asked me, what's my zodiac sign? That's like, I'm a Taurus, right? Mm -hmm. I'm a Taurus. Taurus. I'm a Taurus. Tor not a Taurus. That's like a <laughs> I'm a Taurus. Taurus. Don't you drive that? Mark Rico asks, what's your top three favorite Logic songs? That's a terrible question, because I don't know myself. Um, Life is Good, Gang Related, and every other song he's ever released. I really don't know, guys. I love 90% of Logic songs. There's like three songs I really don't like by him, and that's about it. But yeah, I really like almost every Logic song, and they're pretty great. I probably can't pick favorites right now. Next question comes from James Perry, aka my dad. He said, thanks for being a good kid, man. Not every parent has that. What do you think is the most slept on thing in Skate 3, hidden spot, glitch, etc.? Probably probably gapping. If you guys know what gapping is, really where you just like do like this or anything, you just go flying and you try to land somewhere. Because it's very hard to land. It's very hard to actually get the, like, the glitch to go flying. So I think gapping is probably the most underrated thing, or like the most slept on thing. Maybe hippie flipping, but hippie flipping is pretty known, just not a lot of people do it anymore. What's that? I thought this was like a bumper sticker. I got excited. It's a sticker. Hmm? It's a sticker. Stop. Stop. It is a sticker. Where'd you get this? I'm to my shoes. Next question comes from the pro gamers. If you met Logic and got his phone number, how much would you call him? If I met Logic, I'd be extremely happy. You can have one of those if you want. My girlfriend's looking at pancake cake stickers. Shout out to pancakes when I actually met this guy. He gave me a bunch of stickers. This is a guy. I thought the real food pancakes. Can I have one? You can have one, yeah. This guy's a great guy. Shout out to pancakes. I love you, man. It was great meeting you. Back to the question. I'm very sorry. The pro gamers asked if I met Logic and got his phone number, how much I would call. If I met Logic, I'd be very happy might cry to be honest don't know uh i've already like seen him in person and everything last week if you guys have not seen that video i talked to him and everything i didn't really get to meet him formally though it was for the q a and if i got his phone number i probably want to call him because i really really don't call anyone that much uh, i'd probably text him every now and then see how he was doing but i probably want to call him that much Derek unterberger don't know how to say your name very sorry say can you foot plant uh, if you're talking about in real life no if i can foot plant on skate through like do all those foot plants? No, I can't either, actually. I can, I know how to do it, I just, I'm not good at it at all, so no. Makey's the trick liner asked, do you prefer trick liner or competitive? And how much time did it take you to learn how to become a perfect trick liner who's clearly a master and pretty much can do everything in the game? Thank you, LOL Kiss Man. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, I prefer competitive because it's a lot more harder to do, in my opinion. And uh, trick lining is kind of easy, but I love them both equally. But if I could play competitive, probably play competitive over trick line. Because I can trick line whenever, I can only play competitive so much because my skate 3 disc does not work. How long did it take to become the perfect trick liner? A year or two, maybe. I don't even think I'm perfect at trick lining. Uh, I don't think anyone is, to be honest with you, but it took me about two years of learning. <laughs> 1A asked, what's, the, what's 30 plus 30 plus 9? Uh, I think it's like 72. Obviously it's 69. You're a great kid. Fatal X asked my q &A, do you think you're ever going to hit 100,000 subs? I never thought I would hit 1,000, so I'm not going to say I don't think I'll ever hit 100,000, because it's possible, 
anything's possible, but... Did you hit a thousand? I'm a six thousand. Oh! <laughs> Anyways. Sorry. Uh, it's possible, but I don't think it's gonna happen to me. No, wait, no, there... Yeah, I, maybe. Kishorify, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> uh, do you play Black Ops 2? If so, do you trick shot? I don't know if you actually mean Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 3, but I do trick shot on both, so there's your answer. Clumsy Abood or whatever. <laughs> Destiny content. I'm sorry, man. I'm so bad. What's your main goal for 2016? Uh, I made a 2015 it was a great video. I talked about my goals in 2016. Uh, um, Q&A from Concerted. He says, what does CJ stand for? It stands for Carlos Juan. <laughs> so, uh, there's your answer. Which comes from Blue Cat. If you never discovered Skate 3 or did YouTube, what do you think you'd be doing these days? I'd either still be skating... Still playing Pokemon. Probably have a job or be on drugs. As Jordan thinks. It is Missouri. There's nothing else better to do, so. Next question comes from Mystifier. It says, Who or what influenced you to begin uploading on YouTube content? I said that wrong. You guys understand what I said, though. Um, I don't know what video. I don't know what video did, but I remember being subscribed to some of the bigger people on YouTube right now back in 2010, like iJustine, Daystorm, uh, AlphaCat, Shmoyoho, some of those other guys. Next question comes from x 7 Harjit. How do I balance school and YouTube? I really don't. I just kind of wing it 99% of the time. Next question comes from Forget Things. Do you remember what I was going to ask you? No, I don't. Next question comes from V Chilzy. Do you work? If so, what do you do? No, I do not have a real job, but I do get some money from YouTube, so <coughs> there's that answer. Next question comes from Cool Boy Plays 33. How old were you when you joined Rise? I think I was either 13 or 14. Can I remember? I was probably 13. Sean Labor. I don't know, that's I'm so sorry, Jaden. He said, if EA never made any skate game, what games would you play? Would you even have YouTube? Yes, I would have YouTube because I did YouTube ever since 2010, just like with funny, stupid vlog videos. And if EA never made a skate game, I'd probably be playing Call of Duty, maybe Grand Theft Auto. I don't know. Next question comes from Sansy Boy. Who's your favorite YouTuber? My favorite YouTuber is probably Phase Blue. Justin Escalona. I actually met him IRL, so that's a cool fact. Um, what about Skater? Skater. There you go. Jordan, know what's up. Know what's up. Knows what's up. I know what's up. I know what's up. Um. Most definitely Phase Jeff. Next question comes from Borderlands2203. How long have you been playing this game series? Ever since. <coughs> <laughs> Ever since 2011. Oh my god. Next question comes from. Hate body bag or H8 body bag, don't know. What state do you live in and do you get good grades? I live in Missouri and no, I do not get good grades. I do not condone that, just I really don't really care that much for school, but school is very important. Next question comes from Swifty Chills. What's better, Chick fil A or Dunkin' Donuts? I really have not ate a lot of Dunkin' Donuts, so I'm gonna go ahead and say Chick fil A. I love Chick fil A. They do not have any in Missouri except in St. Louis. I want water burgers so bad. Next question Polar Vision. Sorbel, do you have an Xbox One? Yes, I do have an Xbox One. J Dice Watts asks, Have you ever poop on a log and then used the log in a fire pit to cook a steak? Yeah. Once or twice. Game Planet asked, Can you make more BO3 vids? If you guys really want to see more BO3 If you guys really want to see more BO3 vids, I will make more BO3 vids because I actually play BO3 a lot and I love BO3. Next question comes from Radical C4. How'd you get the name Sorable? I was looking for a gamer tag because I really wanted like an OG gamer tag and I was looking for one. I changed it to something stupid, I changed it to something stupid, and finally I found a name I liked, but then I changed it to something stupid, the next day I changed it to something stupid, and then I got Sorable, which is really, if you have never played Kingdom Hearts, there's a character named Sora, and I wanted Abel, so it kind of just put them together like Sora, put the two A's together, kind of, Abel, so Sorable. Next question comes from Sol Sloza, OP. Said, what grade are you in? I'm in 11th grade. Next question comes from Showstop at EX. How old are you? I am 16. I'll be 17 in May. Sansy Boy asked, what's your real name? My real name is Carlos Juan. Guys, that's obviously a joke. I'm not going to tell you my real name yet. Next question comes from CVN LMAO. If you're a transgender, what would your name be? Regina. The both gender CJ is a both gender name, so there you go. A unisex name. It's a unisex name. That's, 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 <laughs> so that's, is mine. We're unisex. <laughs> We're unisex. <laughs> Next question comes from Pilot Cave. <laughs> Have you ever thought about switching back to comp? 
Yeah, but I really don't have anyone to play with, so like it's kind of hard to play comp if you have no one to play with. So. Ninja X Gamer slash Ninja F asks, can I make another tutorial how to chew flanka? Tell me to make <laughs> another tutorial how to chew flanka. I will do that soon. Just leave a like or something. Purify YouTube asks, what are your opinions on the skate community, skateboards, skate through dying, etc. Skate community is very toxic. I love a lot of people in it, but there are some people out there who are very toxic and annoying. It's toxic. Bad. 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 So yeah. Skate 4, don't think it'll ever come out as much as I want it to. Skate 3 dying, it is most definitely dying. Without a doubt. Unsubscribed ask, are you any popular at your school? And do some people know about your channel at school? Am I popular? Mm. I wouldn't say popular, but you're not unknown. I wouldn't say popular, but I wouldn't say unknown. Um, and do people know about my channel at school? A lot of people know about my channel because I told one of my friends and they told other people, they told other people, they told other people. Jordan knows about my channel. So there's I that. Keep I messed up a lot. Next question comes from my boy Cameron. Again, will you do a dual stream with me sometime because you're a badass? Um, of course, dude. I love Cameron. He's a great streamer. If you guys want to go follow him on Twitch, I will put that in the description as well. Okay, as Cameron, Cameron Harden. Oh, does he work at Pizza Hut? I mean pizza. See little Caesars? Little Caesars, yeah. Sets on my lunch table. Cross your mic. Okay, and the last two questions come from Isaac Peel. He says, yo, I got a question. What's the first skate game you ever played? It was Skate It. The first game I ever played in the skate franchise was Skate It. It's for the Wii. Not very fun, to be honest with you. What's your favorite game of all time? Either Kingdom of Hearts or Legend of Zelda. Kingdom of Hearts or Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Wind Waker is, oh my, I would do anything to play that game again. Like the first time, that was the best experience. And obviously, I like Skate 3, but Wind Waker will always have a special place in my heart. Same with Kingdom Hearts. And last thing from Isaac Peel, it's actually not a question. This is an awesome video, man. Keep it up. Alright, guys, so that was my 6K QA. My throat's getting really dry. I'm starting to cough a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel also because that means a lot to me. Jordan, you got your question? Oh, uh, yeah. What's your favorite food? Oh, yeah. My favorite food? Ever? Yeah, ever in the whole world. It's either there's this place in Texas. I don't know if it's anywhere else. It's called Luby's. It's like a. It's like you get a lunch tray and when you go down the line and you get food and they have this chopped liver there. And it's and I get Jello with it. It's really good. A lot of Jello and chopped liver. I'm sorry. It's just really that good. That is disgusting. I've ate it since I was a little boy. So. I like chicken a lot too. Bye, Jordan. Anyway, so. uh <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is probably a pretty long video, but I'm sorry about that. So, guys, again, thank you so much for 6,000. It means the absolute world to me. I love you guys so much. Okay, guys, this has been CD Aerosol over here. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Peace out, everyone. Peace out. Yeah, do that. <laughs> okay, bye, guys.